Hi everybody, my name is Katrina Gray and I'm going to have a pleasure to be on a podcast of Brett Cooney. I'm going to talk about the recent project called Daytime Nightmare, uh, which I uh, wrote, produced, directed, and I'm also a main actress. It's psychological thriller slash horror, so it's very exciting. Stay tuned. Bye. <laughs> All right, bradcooney.com would like to welcome back onto the show. She's become one of our regular guests, actress and now director, Katrina Gray. Katrina, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, hi, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, welcome back. All right, we've got a lot to talk about. Um, first and foremost, you have recently moved to London, and we'll touch on that uh, just in a little bit down the road here. But I want to talk about your brand new movie and your directorial debut, Daytime Nightmare. Um, I guess just let's, let, let's just talk about that experience. Tell us, tell us about the experience making the movie. Yeah, I mean, it's a uh, it's great feeling that um, you're able to uh, write down stuff from your head and create a story and then get people together and... Uh, make a movie you know and now doing the post-production is just all coming together it's just it's like a, living a dream you know it's all coming together and uh, like a puzzle and it feels great <laughs> yeah uh, to describe the feeling itself uh, but um i think it's gonna hit me strong when i'm gonna have people audience watching it mm. and uh, mm -hmm. see their reactions absolutely say. absolutely that's that's gonna be a game changer um all right, so you also star in the movie, which is really cool. You're directing it, and plus you uh, you star in the movie. So talk a little bit about juggling both of those things, directing and starring in, in the same movie. Um, actually, uh, it was not so... Actually, I did not think anything. I was not really trying to uh, analyze the fact that I'm doing... Uh, di uh, director, you know, I'm being a director on set and actress because I didn't want to try to pay attention of uh, if it's going to work or if, I'm, or if, it, if, I, if it's going to be difficult or easy or anything. I just like, I just get on with it. And um, I think the, one of the reasons why it went so well and smoothly, which it did, is that I had very good preparation. Um, I had a very good pre-production um, period where I... Um, rehearsed with all of the actors mm -hmm. we did uh, script breakdown we talked about the story and everything because this one is um it's a psychological thriller it's really a uh, slash horror and uh it's very complex story with with that required all the actors in the movie to understand what we are doing, what's happening, and also the shooting schedule. It was not obviously shooting from the scene one to scene 75, but it was like we were going jumping from end till beginning, middle, you know, it was in one day. So it required the full attention of actors when it came to uh, scenes, uh, wardrobe, and make sure that they are ready for the scene when it came to the time in the movie. And um, we did all this before shooting. So we had a, mm. with every actor, I had two days of rehearse, rehearsal, and uh, each, each and one of the actors, including the other main actor, uh, every single person basically uh, under new script by memory they understood everything we talked about the story we did rehearsals and uh, also i did the same with my uh, character lucy uh i did this uh, script breakdown and uh, i prepared myself i did um, i made a notes in my script as a director as, as and, and as, as actress as well so i had two sets of notes for the actors and directing and me as an actress so I was ready so for, for me it was a matter of having a look uh, before a scene what I wrote when I was preparing myself and it all came to me so it was all about the preparation it went great yeah that, that's true and pre you know preparation is key um, I guess I guess um, Tell, tell the listeners out there what the movie's about. I mean, you mentioned that it's a thriller, yeah. but, but, but more so, get into some details about what the movie's about. So, the quick plot would be um, Liz, uh, Lucy's life changes when her own mind turns against her and her nightmares become her daymares. So, um, 
from it, um, it or you can already guess I, uh, like it's going to be about nightmares mm -hmm. and they're going to be pretty with it um, and uh, yeah pretty much I don't want to give, give out no. <laughs> okay, away too much yeah so, don't give too uh, much away I um, one of the reasons why I wanted to do it about the nightmares is because every person in the world they we all have a nightmares and uh, also, I bet every single person in the world had some type of, some kind of nightmare that, you know, you share, you know, uh, when it comes to, let's say, school or anything else. So, there are certain types of nightmares we all have, so I wanted to bring those as well into my movie, so when people will watch it, they will be able to um, find a piece of themselves in it, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know? I do. Um, will there be a trailer for it? A trailer will be ready within about three, four weeks. Oh, we're getting now, close. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm finishing now. I just finished the raw editing, and now we are doing creative edit. And once that one is done, we will edit the trailer and make a music for it. So one month trailer, and the whole movie uh, is the plan to be finished by uh, Christmas, the New Year. So you're looking for a release around Christmas, New Year time? I'm not sure if release, but to be ready. Um, I haven't got to the part of right. distribution. That's what I'm working on right now. But um, for now, uh, I'm just uh, focusing on edit, uh, finishing the editing, and so I can move on to sound edit because this one, the uh, no sound uh, post production, I mean, uh, because this movie is. Uh, the, that kind of movie that requires a lot of film score, sound effects, and all kinds of stuff to make it experience since it's a horror, thriller horror, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so who else is in the movie? I read, I read, I think I read one of the actors worked with Jackie Chan, is that true? No. <laughs> oh, I thought one of them was, um, like, did a fight scene in one of Jackie Chan's movies. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yeah. Uh, Ron Smarnberg. Right. He he is amazing actor and also a stunt choreographer. He uh, I think he became one of the earliest uh, uh, movies he worked on mm -hmm. was uh, having a fight with the uh, with the Jackie Chan in Who Am I? So that's I love that scene. I keep watching it over <laughs> and over. Great yeah. scene on the rooftop. Um, I don't know if you remember that one, but I loved it. It's crazy scene. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got and, that really good. Go ahead. And we became very good friends with Ron, and he was actually one of the person, uh, one of the people who uh, helped me get into action movies in a way that he prepared me for uh, some of some of the roles I was working on. Uh, we were rehearsing together. We were doing a uh, stage combat, you know, and uh, and uh, so he was training me. Uh, so I could be able to do on-screen fighting and then uh, he also has a role in my movie and uh, also he's a stunt choreographer in it because one of the scenes required also the choreography mm -hmm. so, um, he's great great actor and uh, the movie wouldn't be the same without him That's, that sounds great so who else who else is in the movie so there is also uh, um, plenty other actors um, David Asavanant, he's a very, very, he's a Thai superstar, he's Thai French, and he's a great actor, he's one of the, uh, one of the best actors I ever mm. met, really, and um, also uh, Alex Winters, I don't want to miss out on anybody, so I'll try to name everybody. Yeah. So, Raluca Porombaku, uh, Randy Kelsey, uh, Bonnie Zellweger, uh, John Flano, Jonathan Samson, Alex Winters, um, then, uh, uh, I'm sure there's, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's plenty more. I didn't mean to put you on the spot because it's hard to remember everybody. <laughs> but, uh, the main actress, uh, Sarah, uh, mm -hmm. Christiana Taiwana, she's Thai, uh, German, and, uh, let me check. I, I don't want to miss out on anybody. <laughs> you put me on the spot. Yeah. I know. My bad. My bad. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna double check that, but 
Oh, my best friend from Slovakia, Inka Andrushikova, mm -hmm. oh, also Olga Ostapenko. She's Russian, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to have a that as well. <laughs> That's a solid team. So now, now, a lot of these are, are, I'm guessing, people you've worked with in the past, or did you have quite a few that had to read for you? Uh, well, I did have a read for two people only. Oh, okay. But uh, the rest of the people I I knew uh, mm -hmm. from before we worked together, so I was very familiar the way they are. And uh, basically, I was when I was writing the script, I had them already on mind. So I mm -hmm. was really hoping they will say yes, and they did. <laughs> so that's great. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, this movie happened very sudden. I started uh, started writing it beginning of. Uh, February, I did location scouting with uh, our DOP, uh, Jan Frame, and uh, by the end of the, or mid, yeah, by the end of the February, the script was ready. A uh, whole March, I was doing pre-production, and we were ready to rock, rock and roll in 1st mm -hmm. April, and uh, by the end of the April, the movie was filmed, and since 1st May, literally, I was doing uh, editing with um, Nishnya Lupan from Film Cube Thailand. Mm -hmm. So, what? Looking back at this um, first movie you've directed, what what was the biggest challenge for you? Biggest challenge? Wow. Um, biggest challenge. Well, I in a, in a sense of like what was what went wrong and I fixed it or uh, I mean. Well, like like specific. if like if if somebody like me walked up and said, "Hey, um, you, you just got your first directorial." Um, effort behind you when thinking back at that the whole process from A to Z what was what was the what maybe the more difficult thing that you had to adjust to coming from the other side of the camera I uh, I think the biggest challenge was that um, even just before shooting I was not sure if all it's gonna go through mm. because I did not have all I had to I had a little bump on the road and I had to recast almost everybody oh, wow. <laughs> so and it was just uh, mm, cl very close to I mean we can help before shooting so it was very difficult because by then I was already ready with everything and I had originally diff completely different cast and then I recasted most of them oh wow well, I was yeah, so it was a bit difficult, um, but I I just decided that I'm gonna no matter what I'm gonna get it done, and uh, no matter how many times you know people will try to prevent you from doing something, you will have to just you know get on from get up from your knees and stand up and do it again and again. No matter no matter how many times you're gonna fall, you just have to. That's yeah. right. That's right. Okay. Perseverance. Okay. Perseverance. Just keep, you know, let anybody knock you down. Just keep and going I, forward. I had no time to think uh, on, uh, about anything else but uh, getting the, you know, getting it all done. So mm -hmm. I, you know, I got, uh, got on with it and everything was, everything went great and I'm really lucky with everybody, all the cast that is on this movie because it would not be the same without them and I'm so glad that it happened actually <laughs> that's the thing I'm so glad that it happened because I had great cast in this movie and they are amazing and with also improvisation and they put everything like 100% in it um, mm. and I they gave soul to the movie you know yeah that's great man I'm excited to see it I can't wait to watch it once it comes out um, so What's that? Huh? Definitely, you'll be one of the people first gonna watch. Oh, uh, thank you. I, I, I'm honored by that. I'm definitely looking forward to it, and of course, we'll support it however we can. Um, so, now that you have your first directorial effort behind you, like you got a taste for it now. So, is this something you want to keep doing? You you want to keep working behind the camera and do and direct more movies going forward? I do want to direct, but um, my script for now, I mean, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I wanted to start directing is I, I always wanted to do it as an actress. Mm -hmm. I wanted to direct, but um, I find it, uh, it comes very natural to me when it comes to my scripts. Mm -hmm. So it, it's like 
just being um yeah so i really want to direct my all my scripts and i want to act in them as a as a main actress so i definitely gonna do more movies i have uh, i have written another movie already and now working for on four more scripts so one by one i want to get them done every you know well as soon as possible as soon as i can finish one project i will continue with next there you go that's great all right so you recently moved to london england um so i guess talk about that move what was the game plan you know what was the thinking behind moving to london and i'm guessing it definitely enhances uh, more opportunities for your acting career yes correct it's exactly the reason why i did that i mean um the what i what i'm trying to do here in london i'm trying to create my base but for me the thailand is my second base mm -hmm. so i'm kind of in between as well so it will be my because i have so much experience in shooting in thailand so i want to use it in my advantage and i want to keep doing it and uh it's a great place to shoot I, they're great amazing actors people crew locations everything so you gotta use it you know and uh, also the uh, uk is great to meet people in industry and find new friends and uh you know just uh, in general there are also a lot more acting opportunities um i got agent for mm -hmm. acting here um so i'm going auditions here with my agent and um so i'm that kind of doing what oh, many things in the same time and that was actually one of the reasons why i wanted to do my own things because uh creatively i feel like i have to write down all my ideas and get them done as well and i create opportunities for myself as an actress to have uh, roles that i can be good at and i can do uh challenging roles and um uh, something where I can really show my acting which is actually very difficult uh, when it comes to beginning of the career not so many people will give you that opportunity to have a great role with a lot of uh, um, uh, you know with a lot of uh, uh, like performance like mm -hmm. the, you know for the main role so I have to I have to create it for myself but um, I'm getting auditions but it's not enough you have to do your own things on the side as well have you noticed any differences in how the industry works from Thailand to to London? Is it basically the same same type thing, or, is there, or, or are there differences? Yeah. No, it's the same, exactly the same. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, what else? What, what what else are you working on? I know you mentioned you want to keep going with, with all the movies, but I see I see some commercials you're in. What, what other projects are you working on? Well, right now I'm full on on uh, daytime nightmare sure. because that's my little baby that I'm raising. <laughs> <laughs> so baby should be uh, adult by Christmas. <laughs> there you go. And uh, I am writing another sci-fi script, which I'm very looking forward to have it ready and uh, and many and one historical as well. But um, and definitely one horror movie because I love horror movies. And uh, yeah, so there's gonna be a lot more coming, and I would like to get them done right uh, after I'm finished with this one. So um, otherwise, I'm going auditions and uh, doing the post production on Daytime Night Fair. Yeah. All right, well, we've had you for about 20 minutes now, so I'm gonna let you go. But before I let you go, um, I want to give you an opportunity to tell all the listeners out there where they can follow you on all your social media and websites and where they can learn more about daytime nightmare okay so we have a fan page on facebook uh, called daytime nightmare where i'm gonna post soon the trailer and uh you can find me on uh instagram uh katrina underscore gray also on twitter katrina underscore gray and i have a website katrina com. And uh, also, I'm on Facebook, Katrina Gray. I have my fan page there. And uh, so, I'm going to share all the information, updates, and amazing behind the scenes pictures uh -huh. um, because we have great behind the, behind the scenes photographer, Julie Desiree. She's amazing. So, the pictures are so beautiful. So, you can even already have a look at the pictures soon. All right. Well, everybody out there listening, support Katrina Gray, support her first directorial. Um, debut daytime nightmare it's gonna be an exciting movie i'm looking forward to it i really am i know all your other movies i've seen i love ghost houses was on netflix recently it's probably still there somewhere uh, that was a great movie 
Um, so support her. Follow her on Facebook and Twitter. I will put the links in the article. Katrina, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for doing this. And of course, we get, we'll get you back on in the future. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.